Eric, how you doing? Welcome to Indy. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm uh, I'm excited to be a Colt. Since yours is the only voice that matters in, in this, where are you with your rehab? And is it is it do you have a timeline? August, September, October. How, how are you approaching this? I know sooner than is better, but what, what what's your approach? Yeah, what I can tell you this is uh, I'm a big control what you can control kind of guy. Um, obviously I'd like to snap my fingers and have a perfect Achilles again, but, uh, you know, that's not the case. Um, obviously the club feels good where I'm at. I'm feeling good. Um, but any other, uh, questions on my Achilles, I'll leave, uh, up to Chris Ballard or coach. Thanks. Ken Sterling. Eric, welcome to Indy. Why Indy? What was your process in kind of vetting the Colts and, and why'd you lock, you lock up here? Uh, yeah, I, it just, it seemed right from the start. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a Midwest guy. I grew up in Michigan, uh, been in Kansas City the last uh, eight years. Um, so I'm a big, big Midwest guy. I like that it's uh, close to my home state. Um, you know, and it, I think it's just a great organization. Um, you know, obviously I have a connection with uh, Chris Ballard. And, uh, you know, he, he brought me in and trusted me to get the job done. And I'm looking forward to that challenge. And, uh, you know, everything that comes along with it. Obviously, it's a long season. Uh, there's ups and downs of every season, and uh, I think this is an organization that, you know, obviously the playoff team that has a, it's a contender uh, to go to go the distance here. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to being a part of that. Uh, obviously, left tackle is a big role of that, and um, you know, it just seemed it seemed right. Everything lined up, it worked out, and I'm I'm excited for the opportunity and excited to get to work. Jake Arthur. Hey, Eric. Uh, so you've played against this Colts team a couple times in the last few years. Is there anything in particular about this offense that really drew you to them? One, one of the huge things is the, the offensive line there. It's, I mean, uh, to be able to play next to the uh, best left guard in the league, I'm darn excited for that. Um, but across the board, I mean, talented guys everywhere. And, uh, you know, we got a great quarterback coming, coming from Philly, obviously. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to build that chemistry with him, build the chemistry with the guys. But uh, to be a part of that old line group, uh, I'm really, really chomping at the bit to, to get back to work. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to that. That was a big part of it. And uh, I think we're going to have a lot of success. Thanks. JJ? Hey, Eric, did you feel like you were playing some really good football last year before you got hurt in the, the AFC Championship game? <clears throat> you know, I, I'm not going to critique myself but you know I thought I was playing at uh, one of the highest levels I've played at um you know one of the things that drove me nuts about that injury was you know where I was at in my career and you know that was the thing this injuries you can't control uh, obviously it's part of the game um it's something that that happens and you know it, it is what it is um but yeah it was, it was a pretty big bummer to you know be a thousand snaps plus deep in the season and for that to happen when you're you're so close to you know the trophy there um but you know it is what it is it happens that's life and uh you, it's about how you control it and um you know it is what it is but i'm excited to be getting healthy uh get back to work and uh keep on rolling george Bremer. welcome eric uh I'm wondering, after nearly a decade in, in the league, changing franchises, coming to a new situation, does it sort of refresh you in some ways? Does it make you feel like you're starting over again? Yeah, that was one of the things I talked to Coach about, um, you know, because, you know, as a player, you know, getting uh, to the second half of your career, um, you know, there's a lot of questions, especially coming off an injury, and it was like, as soon as I got the call that I was being cut, it was all, like an automatic reset in my brain of like, I'm nowhere near being done. I feel like I got a lot of years left in me. Um, so it's funny you bring that up because I was actually thinking about that this morning, um, driving home from rehab. Um, you know, it's it's going to be an awesome reset for myself uh, and a fresh slate, you know, keep working and, uh, you know, finish uh, the second half of my career off on a good start. Um, so, yeah, it's funny you bring that up, but uh, I, I've been thinking about that. I'm, I'm excited to kind of have that reset. Bill Erickson. Hey, Eric. Uh, were you disappointed at all that, that Kansas City decided to, to move on from you? Uh, obviously, you feel like you can play this season and, and help out. So was it difficult to deal with that release? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you spend eight years with the team and do a lot of good things with the team. Um, 
you know, obviously nobody likes being fired, <laughs> um, you know, but it, it's part of the game, you know, um, you know, it's a, it's a business that, uh, you know, requires you to be healthy. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, kind of overcoming that uh, obstacle and that hurdle that, uh, you know, I was dealt and, um, you know, I'm excited to have another opportunity. Bob Kravitz. Yeah, Eric, what was, what was it like last year watching the Super Bowl when, when clearly uh, the problems to tackle were, were issues uh, for the Chiefs? Yeah, um, sitting up in the stands, I mean, it was tough to watch, uh, to know that the quarterback that I was protecting was running around there, you know. Um, you know, it, it was tough to watch, um, especially, you know, I, I like being a consistent player, um, so to not be available – to uh, do my job for that team, uh, it, it was it was tough. Um, you know, it just makes me want to <laughs> get back and stay healthy and um, just continue to do or continue to play high level football um, for for a team. You know, I'm I'm excited for it.